Sam 319 or more. Sam 319. 10 8, route to DPS. <sighs> my heart's thumping. It's about to beat out of my chest. <sighs> crazy day. This is going to be a crazy day for sure. So, a little over 14 years ago, I walked in the doors of that training center as straight out of college, like four days after my wedding, started one of the toughest, most rigorous, mentally draining, physically draining academies of any law enforcement agency in the United States. And today, today we're walking away. And it's a... Uh, it's a very emotional day, I'm not going to lie. Um, this is something that we've had in the works for a long time. It's not something that we came up with on a whim. My wife and I have been working on setting some personal goals for, for a long time, and those goals have been met, and we're moving on into the next phase of our life. Now, we'll go home and we'll explain a whole lot more about what's going on. Um, I've been keeping this a secret from a lot of people for a long time, but we are officially taking an early retirement from the highway patrol and uh, it's one of the hardest decisions we've ever made as a couple it's not something we're taking lightly um, I, I worked here for, for 14 years I've given 14 years of my life to the state of Oklahoma as a trooper we, and we, we, we absolutely <laughs> absolutely we there's no doubt you probably have more stress than I did a lot of nights um, but it's just time um, guys told me for years, older guys told me for years, you'll know when your day is. You'll know in your head when the right time is to leave. And uh, it's hard. It's a hard, it's a stressful thing. And it's not just about income by any means. It's not just the income situation. It's just the thought of leaving that security. But uh, we're fixing to pull out of this parking lot for the last time. And uh, it's weird. Came up today, turned in all of my uniforms, turned in my car turned in everything and said our final goodbyes to some guys that I worked with for years and it's crazy it's crazy but I'm excited I'm happy so let's go home and talk about this get out of this wind the wind's blowing like crazy and I'm sure people are driving by thinking we're nuts talking to this camera but uh, we're used to that, that's right? all right that's what our life is going to be so we better get yeah. used to it right which we've been doing it for years it's nothing new but my wife's a little bit more emotional than I am right now yeah so let's go home well, we made it home. You may hear the uh, the pit boss grill burning in the background. It uh, makes a little bit of noise, but I'll show you what we got going on on that thing uh, when we wrap this up. Uh, we're trying something new on the pellet grill. But, uh, so yeah, I feel like we, we need to address this. Um, I know we're gonna have 9,000 comments about everything we're doing wrong and our decisions and shouldn't do this and shouldn't do that. So. Let me start by saying, at 14 years on the highway patrol, I'm a vested state employee. I will get a retirement check. It will be a little bit less than if I stayed at 20. But surprisingly, it's not as much less as we expected it to be. So I won't get a retirement check until I pass my original 20 year mark, like if I made it to my retirement date. So early retirement, yeah, kinda. I mean, the patrol likes to call it a resignation. I'm a vested employee with 14 years of service. Um, I'm gonna call it an early retirement from my first career. And as I said earlier, um, I went into the highway patrol as a 21 year old, straight out of college that just got married. And um, the patrol was, was good to us. It was good to our family. We, we've uh, I've got a lot of fond memories of the highway patrol, but I feel like 
um, and, and we'll explain more of this, but I just feel like now is is a time for us to, to leave the highway patrol, to leave law enforcement. And um, there's a lot going on in the world and it's not just because of all the chaos in the world. So we'll back up several months, or let's go back a year. So one year ago in June, we kind of started kicking around this idea of could it be possible for us to make a full-time career out of the internet between YouTube, Facebook, Amazon, affiliate sales, sponsorships, all that stuff. So what we did was we took our state payroll check from my job and put it into a savings account. 100% of my paycheck went into a savings account and we haven't touched a dime of it in a year, which is crazy. So basically I've been going to work every day for the past year not for free, but just to pad our savings. And then along about November of last year, where'd the sun come from? It was nice and shady right here when we started this. It'll go away in a second. In November of last year, DJ and I were in Arizona for a conference that she kind of drug me into because it was a photography association type conference for small business owners, basically for photographers and it was just her and i there for four or five days and they had all these speakers come in from out of state um she's over there maybe crying a little bit i've got a sweat rag because it's really hot but so i had all these speakers come in from from other states that were people that had were normal people that started a business on the side as a side gig or a side hustle and turned it into their full-time career now most of those were photographers but still every time we came out of one of those breakout sessions I'm pretty sure my wife was crying and it wasn't because the the speakers were speaking to her but they were speaking to me at one point I even said I shouldn't have brought you yeah <laughs> yeah <laughs> oh, and, I mean I was joking but yeah and it, it was just one of those things that that I felt like God was putting on our heart a long time ago and and not that the highway patrol was bad and not that that it was something I couldn't do anymore. It was just, I feel like I, for, for months, for probably a year, I felt like this was the direction God was pulling us. So while we were in Arizona, it was just she and I, we didn't have the kids. We were able to sit and talk and we had decided I would, at the, at the end of the year, beginning of 2020, end of 19, beginning of 2020, I would put in for a one year leave of absence, which I've, I've known other it's hot out here. I've known other troopers that actually took a one year leave of absence to go do something else and then come back to the highway patrol. So that was a real possibility. And, uh, do you need to say something, Houston? No, no, You're just passing through. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, we'd made up our mind while we were in Arizona. I was going to finish out the year and possibly put in for a year leave of absence, either the end of that year or on my anniversary date on the patrol, which would have been in May of this year. And um, we made up our mind. That was what we were gonna do. And then on our way home, <laughs> when the airplane touched down in Oklahoma City and I turned my phone back on, I had three text messages from guys I work with. And they all just said, congratulations. And I had no idea what for. So I started texting and said, what are you talking about? Congratulations for what? and they said well you got transferred effective tomorrow and that threw a huge kink in my plan that it was like god said hey here's this door i've opened for you i want you to walk through it but let's try this first and it was literally a, a, in my opinion a, a, a god moment a hundred percent um i i had wanted that job opportunity within the patrol in size and weights division or our dot inspector division for almost four years and without a phone call without a text message without anything just one day out of the blue pretty much the day after we had made our decision hey you're transferred so um there were some tears shed and we cried on the way home and didn't know what to do and thought man if if if, if god really wants us to pursue this stuff online full time why would he open this door right now? So I went ahead and took that job and it was awesome. It, it was a whole different schedule. It was a whole different life. I needed a change of pace from what I've been doing for the last 13 years on the interstate and just needed a break. And that job was really fun. It was really cool. But as 2020 has progressed, everything has just blown up. It's just really, really 
Um, Different. <laughs> well, with with everything online, between YouTube and Facebook and all, all the stuff we do on the internet, it's just exploded. We hit 100,000 subscribers in June of 19, and in June of this year, we were at 350,000 subscribers on YouTube. And then Facebook, we've got 100 and something thousand over there. So it's incredible. Um, I know a lot of people are going to say I'm crazy for walking out on the retirement and I get it. I totally understand. But sometimes we just have to make those decisions in life and, and jump on it. Now, would it, would it be okay to stay on the highway patrol for 25 or 30 years and draw a much larger retirement check? Yeah, probably so. But I feel like we can do a lot more and I just feel like we're being called to do something else than go to work for the highway patrol every day. It's a weird thing. This is something that, that that's not this is not a uh, on a whim kind of decision that we've made. This is something that we've talked about for months and months and months. And uh, you know, I, I've preached and not preached, but I've I've tried and tried and tried to convince people for years to to start some kind of side hustle, to start something on the side, just to earn a little bit of extra income. And that was what I did with YouTube years ago. And it was just a hobby. It was just for fun. And my wife made fun of me and my friends made fun of me. And, and you know, I, I didn't know what, what all the possibilities were. I didn't know, we, I, I never dreamed it, it would get to this size. Um, but I thought, ah, we might be able to make a few dollars someday and have fun along the way and teach some people some stuff. And uh, the last two years, it's just changed our life completely. I mean, it's, it's just been incredible. It's been awesome. Um, so 14 years ago, I walked into the academy and uh, I had an uncle that said, <laughs> that said, uh, I don't think you need to go do that. That, that just changes you. That, that highway patrol academy changes who you are. And I don't, I don't want it to turn you into some, somebody that you're not. And that 16 week academy, that four months, did change me it changed who i was i walked in there a 21 year old kid that had zero life experience and it was very eye-opening and i've spent 14 years seeing things that that i never wanted to see really i don't there, there's there's a lot of stuff in this world that that i hope i never see again it's a job somebody's got to do it i totally understand um it's just some things you can't unsee what are your thoughts on the matter i'm gonna try not to cry she's gonna try not I'm gonna try not to cry. Um, I'm so excited for what is to come and you know just the fact that you'll be able to be everywhere with us whenever whatever comes up with the kids and it's it's not just me anymore it's not just I'm the only one cooking and cleaning and you know um, not that I minded doing all that because that's that's the role that I wanted and that's that's what we agreed on but it's just going to be a totally different dynamic and we don't have to worry about you missing things and um i don't know i'm very excited um this was a big deal um for me i mean this is what dang it this is what our life started out being was ohp and i helped you through the application process the very long intense application process and um you know our kids have grown up with it um there are wonderful things about it you being able to come to ball games sometimes when you're working or eat dinner with us while you're working um a lot of jobs you don't get to do that um but there's other sides to it too that people don't see um unless you're in it and part of that is you know dealing or not dealing with you but watching you go through stuff after you've you've had a fatality had to work a fatality or children injured and really bad things um so i'm glad that you know you don't have to do that anymore but it's still scary and not knowing that that um What's the word I'm looking for? 
um, security. security is isn't there right for something that we've worked so hard for because we we absolutely did i get oh that, absolutely that you no. did the job but no I, there, there's this whole other side that i made this side work and yeah there's no way that there's no way i could have done it without you I, I know that it's a it's a partnership this whole thing is a, is a team for sure and so this is that's why it's just so emotional for me because there's so much invested in it, and um, it's just uh, different. And I'm so excited for what God does have planned for us. Um, and I know we'll be fine, but it's just different and new and raw. Yeah, it's, uh, you know, I don't, I don't even. I really don't even know how to explain a lot of this. It's it's emotional. It's it's. I wouldn't even say it's stressful no, because it's not. You know, uh, if we'd have tried this a year or two ago, it would have been a huge financial um, risk. Now it's not. I, I get it. A lot of people are going to say YouTube could go away tomorrow. The internet's go not going away tomorrow. No. Um, but here's the thing: that the real the real life facts are. Yes, I worked for a state agency in a job that was pretty secure. And times have changed. And now law enforcement is in a scary place. You, It's a scary thought that you would go out, go to work, do your job, and have to possibly take someone else's life to save your own and end up in prison for it. That's just a scary thought to me. And I'm not gonna I'm not gonna lie and say that that wasn't on my mind as the reason part of the reason why we decided to to pursue this, but that's not the only reason. Law enforcement. I, I hope the best. I hope the, I hope the world changes. I hope people's eyes are opened up because there are millions, maybe not millions, hundreds of thousands of really good police officers in America. That the percentage of good to bad is overwhelmingly much better on the good side. There are some bad police officers out there, but, but that's not what this video is about. This is about us and our decision, and uh, we, we hope that, that everyone out there understands what we're doing and why we're doing it. This is the, what I feel like the best decision for our family is. I've missed a lot over the years. I've missed a lot of my family's events and family stuff and holidays and birthdays. Well, yeah, not my kids' birthdays, but other birthdays. and just family get-togethers and events that that all our family would be together and i'm out on the road babysitting other people's problems and other people's uh, kids <laughs> grown people grown, usually but yeah. but you know it's just i'm i'm excited i'm, I'm really excited i l absolutely love what i do on youtube and facebook and everything with the videos and in the the opportunities the doors that it's opened for us already are incredible if you look back over the history of our channel and what we've done and the places we've seen and the things we've got to go do and people we've met and you I, I, I personally can't look at it and not say that God had a hand in every bit of that um, there's just so many things I mean we had a guy here um, working on this patio pouring concrete on this patio and I was videoing him and he he said what are you doing why are you videoing this and I said oh we've got a YouTube channel and he said oh well, I got a nephew in Florida that's got a YouTube channel I said oh yeah I was just thinking some kid you know he I said well what's it, what's it called and he said I don't know raw fishing or something and I'd never heard of it at the time I went and asked Houston about it and he was like oh yeah I watch raw fishing and I looked him up and he had over a million subscribers in Houston I didn't know at the time but Houston loved raw fishing and I, that was such a crazy connection because he was like hey if you ever want to go down that way i'll give him a call and you know he may be able to hook you up and and houston can meet him or something and and uh we got to do that we got to take houston to meet somebody that he watched on youtube and i mean what are the odds of a guy in oklahoma working on our patio being related to somebody that lives in south florida that my son loved to watch on youtube you know no. crazy crazy and uh it's just it's just amazing and like the connection that we've made with jimmy houston i mean jimmy i mean we watched him growing up as kids absolutely like, i watched jimmy houston yeah all my life growing up and and we've built a a really awesome friendship with jimmy and i i mean 
I, that's somebody that I can turn to that I, I if I need any advice in this industry maybe not just YouTube but when it comes to advertising and marketing and and sponsorships and things like that I mean what, what better connection in the world than somebody that's been in that industry for 40 plus years and he owns a ranch five miles down the road from us crazy so we're excited um, big 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 things for our family you guys have been asking about the beard I really did just take off the whole month of June it was you know I took off the whole month of June and was planning on starting a year leave of absence in July taking off the whole year um, that got denied due to reasons that I can't control and I had a bunch of uh, annual leave built up like 500 and something hours of annual leave and was gonna just burn that out and that didn't work out so we ended up having to leave the patrol a little earlier a little quicker than what I planned on but you know I, I totally understand some things are not in my control and I feel like if God opens a door and wants me to walk through it why not walk through it now instead of saying okay God let me walk through it next year let, let's just give me a year um, I just don't feel like that's that was the plan it'll all work out and uh, I don't know that there'll be a ton of changes for the channel. Um, I don't plan on just going doing all kinds of extravagant stuff all the time. I'm not going to try to blow you guys up and post a video every day and make you, you know, expect people to watch a video every day. But we're just literally documenting our life and having fun. Whether it's playing with the kids in the creek or fishing or cooking on the grill or whatever it is, we're just we're just showing you what we do and uh, have a lot of fun with it. Anything else? No. I think I'm. I think I'm cried out for the day. Think you cried out for the day? <laughs> we had to quit earlier because yeah. she just couldn't handle it at the training center. It was pretty emotional, and the wind was crazy. I, I didn't want to try to record everything there, but there's um, a lot of history at the training center. There's a lot of history. A lot of history. <laughs> um, anything else? Anything you want to add? I don't think so. My brain's like what today. <laughs> I think my wife needs a beach vacation. I could use another one for sure. <laughs> Anytime. It doesn't have to be a vacation. We can just we can just go stay. I mean. Yeah. So <laughs> anybody got a good beach house they want to advertise? <laughs> we could hook you up. Uh, anyways, so guys, that's uh that was the news we've been holding out on you guys. I apologize. Um, it's just one of those things I didn't want to talk about publicly until it went through. But here we are, and uh, I guess that means we're. We're real YouTubers now. <laughs> well, that's what I asked him this morning. I was like, so when people ask me, um, you know, what does your husband do? I was like, what am I telling them now? Like, for all this time, it's been hey, like, he's a state trooper. I'm state trooper. That's a good, respectable I said, career. Uh, now it's just going to be he's a stay at home dad. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Dutch, Dutch, from, you know, my buddy Dutch, he said, uh, to have her tell him you work for Google. There you go. You work for Google. <laughs> and then uh, talk to somebody else and they said, tell them you're in advertising. Okay. You, you do advertising for advertising other Advertising for, for other. Google. That's right. That's right. So <laughs> anyways, that's uh yeah. Please don't bash us in the comments. Trust me, this is something we've thought about and prayed about for a long time. And uh, here we are. You know, so. I, um, there's a song that I listen to um, all the time. By Jeremy Camp and it's called keep me in the moment and if, if you've never heard it you need to listen to it um, it makes me happy it makes me sad it makes me just um, so appreciative and grateful so grateful of the blessings in my life and how we need to sit still and live in the moment and not go for our own understandings and our own things out in the world um, that we need to follow God and live in the moment because they're fleeting um, anything could happen to him at in, any time the, and, and here's the thing if something happened while I was at work it could ruin that career and this all at once yeah and that was a huge risk um, sounds like your mom and dad are here yeah we're coming over for supper. That's what we got going on in the pit boss grill. I'll go show that real quick and then we'll wrap this up before my wife cries. Too yeah, much. I'm gonna cry again. Alright, so I told you guys we had something special going on in the pit boss and uh, we're trying something new out, something we've never done. How about 
a meatloaf and some uh, roasted vegetables, but a smoked meatloaf, meatloaf on the pellet grill. Sounds good. So anyways, guys, that's, uh, that's gonna wrap it up for us. That's all we've got. We're gonna sit back and enjoy some family time this evening and uh, try not to cry. I'm not gonna cry anymore, I'm good. So guys, thanks for watching. That's all we've got for today. Uh, we hope you enjoyed it, and uh, trust me, you'll be seeing us on a lot of videos in the future. So. Yes. Y'all have a great day.